Alright guys, how's everyone doing? Hope you're all doing really well. As you can see, I'm back with another update and this update is mainly going to be steelbooks and tin editions. And these are items I've acquired over the last two weeks to a month. And what we're going to start off with first, as you can see, is an awesome, awesome tin edition. I think this is a German tin edition of Bitch Slap. And I bought this off a very, very good friend and YouTuber of mine on here and that is James, aka Saw Blu-ray Mad 2. And as you can see, it's like the uh, the gasoline tins of Death Proof and Planet Terror. Beautiful edition, and this edition does actually finally complete my tins, which I'll show you after I've showed you this. And as you can see, it's nice and thick, and it's got the handle like on a gasoline tin, just like the others. And this pops off, and then inside we have some art cards and a DVD. I'll just show you the DVD. Let's put this to one side. And it's a two disc edition. As you can see, there's some nice boobage there. I've not seen this, so I'm really looking forward to checking it out. And I shall hopefully do it over the weekend. Yep. And then inside, we also have art cards. Always great to have extra stuff in your editions like art cards and posters. I'm always a big fan. And there are very there are a lot here. So there's that one and very nice. Sexy ladies. So like I said, I'm looking forward to checking this one out. So yeah, and what was really good as well, I wasn't expecting it, and when I got this delivered from James, he put a little extra something in for me, and it was uh, the box, and I've actually watched this now, and I've quite enjoyed it, it was totally what I was not expecting, I just want to say thank you very much James, it was really cool here, like I said guys, check James out, I'll leave his link down below, he's an awesome guy, awesome YouTuber, and a credit to the community. Okay, what I'll do now is I'll show you all of the tins together because they look pretty sweet. Alright, so just bear with us. How lovely does that look? All of them finally together. Been a long time coming and it was originally thanks to Nicola aka September Blue UK who sent me the death proof one that started me on the mission to collecting the gasoline tins and now I finally have them all. And it's also a bit, it's a bit special because two of these are from YouTubers. So brilliant so as you probably agree they look amazing okay I'll move on to the next one and this is an XT release so just bear with us okay guys as you can see the XT video release I'm talking about is the day of the dead and this is a lovely edition and this is one I've been wanting for a long time but it's always been a bit lower on the list but I finally got round to picking it up and I picked up brand new from eBay and this is not so much of a steel book it's more of a metal pack stroke tin and it's bigger than the average steel book and what makes this different as well is it's the only one the XT video release I think don't quote me on that that's in like a slip card I'll show you what I mean like the slip card comes off and what's unusual is it's got the writing and the information on the actual slip card it's like a plastic cover quite strange so you'd be pretty screwed if you lost that but anyway put that to one side and you know it's it looks beautiful you know with actually no writing on it and on the back you've just got three images from the movie and then if we open it up as you can see it's quite thick and if we open it up you've got your two discs and I'll show you behind one of these bit of artwork there's Bob so yeah, really really cool edition and I'd highly recommend it to anyone. And you can pick this up for about £20, £25. Quid. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting it for the collection. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to move on to some more definitive edition steelbooks and then Blu-ray steelbooks. Alright guys, just bear with us. Okay, the first definitive edition that I've got is the Battle of Britain. This was a hard one to track down I don't know if they did fewer editions of these when they first came out but Christ it's took me a few months to find this and I paid a pretty penny for it but you can pick it up cheap do you know just 
as soon as you see one of these guys pick it up because they very rarely come up but like all the other definitives it's a two disker you got the British flag and a bit of artwork on the back information all these definitives are very similar like I've said in previous videos all lined up on the shelf they look fantastic and yeah I'm really pleased to finally have this it's a classic movie and the artwork's just stunning on it so yeah Battle of Britain the next one I got is another really hard one to find but I'm finally glad to have it and this is the only white edition out of all 35 steelbooks and it is The Great Escape isn't that gorgeous this really was hard to find and again a pretty penny I'm just assuming that there, there was fewer releases of this one but again two discs and like I said this is the only edition that is white and I love this film it's one of my favourite war movies and there you go it's the only one with the white spine as well so yeah I'm really pleased to get this I was really happy to finally get it a few months of tracking down but I finally got one okay and the next one is again a really hard one to get but finally got it and it's the science of the lambs this very rarely comes up so if you see this guy snap it up and again a pretty penny was paid but it's in mint condition and you know just really pleased two disca great film and finally happy to have it and then the last definitive edition that I got was Moulin Rouge and having this means that I've only got two more to get and then the collection is complete and these two seem to be really hard to find and the first one is Raging Bull and the last one is Master and Commander the Far Side of the World starring Russell Crowe so they're the only two I need and then I've got all of them and I'll do a special video once I get them but these last two seems to be really hard to get hold of so yeah Moulin Rouge great film that one of the songs in this was actually mine and Heather's wedding song so the movie is kind of special to us so I'm really glad to have the steelbook of this okay guys what I'm gonna do now is I've got six blu-ray steelbooks to show you so just bear with us <laughs> alright guys Rightio, the first Blu-ray steelbook I'm showing you is Luc Besson's The Extraordinary Adventures of Adele Blancsec. Can't tell you much about this guys because I've not watched it yet but I think it's meant to be like a cross between Indiana Jones and Jurassic Park as she's like a treasure hunter or an archaeologist and there's a dinosaur in it or something. But uh, I'll be able to tell you more once I've watched it. But uh, yeah, I picked this up a couple of weeks ago and... It's an alright edition, I mean it's not the best Blu-ray steelbook I've seen, probably one of the worst ones actually, because this looks like it's just been stuck on, like sticker, and it, it feels like not like the other ste normal steelbooks, but it's still a steelbook, you know what I mean, and it's a two disker, and what you get with this is some art cards from the movie I'm assuming. So yeah, I'll tell you more about this once I've watched it, but if anyone's seen it, let us know and what, let us know what they thought of it. And yeah, that was I think that was a HMV exclusive. Okay, the next one I got was a similar looking steel book. Uh, these are Optimum Home Release and it is source code. You know, I've watched this and I really like the film, but it's the, these editions, I'm not too sure about them. You know, it looks like they, they're a bit cheapy, but I, I can't believe it. This is, like, deleted already. This just sold, like, hotcakes. So I'm really glad to have it. And like I said, the movie was pretty good, but as you can see inside, they're just plain silver. There's no artwork or anything. So out of all of the Blu-ray steelbooks that I own, I think these are the, the weakest but like I said, I'm glad to have them. And I'd highly recommend picking it up for the collection if you can get older one. So yeah, that's source code. Okay, the next one I got was Hannah. Again, I can't tell you much about this because I've not watched it yet. But I'm really into her as an actress, actor. Uh, Saoirse Ronan. And 
I like all the cast in this and this is a nice looking steel book again they put these cord unnecessary cords on I shall take them off and there you've got a bit of artwork on the back and this is a better quality steel book I mean they've gone to town with this one you've got your artwork inside you've got your two discs digital copy and blu-ray so actually it's a triple play so you've got your DVD as well so really really happy to pick this up and I look forward to watching it but it is a lovely release and again if you guys have seen this let us know what you thought of it and that is Hannah okay the next one I got I apologize I said I had six blu-rays to show you I've only got five this is a, a German DVD release of uh, the Big Lebowski I got this for a really good price on eBay the seller didn't list it as a steel book so I think that's why I got it for such a good price I think I ended up paying like four and a half pound for it which totally blew my mind I love the film it's one of my favorite Coen Brothers film and this edition is just sweet and yeah really happy to have it been wanting the steel book of this for a long time so yeah there you go Big Lebowski Okay, right, let's get back to the Blu-ray Steelbooks. Sorry, I'm losing my mind there. Uh, I'd like to show you this again because I didn't really show it in detail. And it was a gift off Chris J. Webb 1. And it is Superman Returns. Absolutely over the moon. This is now officially one of my favourite Blu-ray Steelbooks. Um, there's a symbol on the back. Just stunning. And there's the inside. It's a plain one disker, but really pleased to have it. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new Superman outfit, by the way. I think it's absolutely horrendous. It may grow on me, I'm not sure, but they've took away his red underpants and his yellow belt. And he's kind of all blue with a red cape. And, and the symbol as well, they've made the S in it kind of bigger. So I'm not sure, you know, I'm not happy at the moment, but I may warm to it. It may be a wind up. Let us know what you think. Anyway, that's Superman off Chris J. Webb 1. Fantastic. And the last one is one that's got delivered today and it's not officially out till Monday. And it is the Fast Fast and Furious 5. And this is a triple play. And this is a... I don't know if it's HMV exclusive, but I got it from HMV. What I'll do, guys, is I'll open it up and let you have a look. So just bear with us. Right, that's that opened. And as you can see, pretty sweet artwork on the front. And if I just turn it over and show you the back as well, and you've just got the front of the car there, absolutely gorgeous. I've not seen this movie yet, I didn't get to see it at the pictures, so this is definitely getting watched over the weekend. And like it says on the front there, this is another triple plate. And I'll just open it up, and it's a three DVD triple plate. So you've got your Blu ray, your DVD, and your digital copy. Just try and get one of these out for you to show the artwork behind. Get the others out as well. But I'm looking forward to seeing this. I've heard good things, and it's great that they've got all the original cast back in it. So happy days, and the rocks in it as well. So sweet. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's all my steel books for you. Well there you go guys, there's my pickups of Steelbooks and Tin Editions for the last two weeks to a month. Hope you've enjoyed watching and I hope you like the editions. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and taking the time to just come over and just check my videos out. As always, I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.